Do you ever get the feeling that your communications aren't landing as well as they could? Don't worry, it happens, especially if your message is going out to a wide audience. Projects are made up of people with a variety of personalities, and as a project leader, it's your job to make sure that your message lands well with all of them. To do that well, you need to know who you're working with so you can cater to their communication style. So let's take a look at four communication styles you may find on your team. These were created by the New York Times bestselling author and leadership guru, Mark Murphy. He spent decades researching interpersonal communication and developed this construct so you can understand your own communication style and how it coincides with those of others. Analytical communicators lead with facts, not emotion. They prefer concrete data and numbers and typically dislike when things are unclear. They trust those who are in command of facts and aren't concerned about the process that got you to your data as long as it's correct. Analytical communicators are all business, which means they typically hold a relatively unemotional view of things. This allows them to use logic and data to make decisions and work out problems. Colleagues often look to analytical communicators for informational expertise and objectivity as their focus on facts enables them to stay neutral in most situations. Emotional words don't hold sway with analytical communicators. They rely so heavily on data that you'll lose their trust quickly if you don't have a firm grasp on the facts. This communication style might come across as rude or indifferent in situations that would otherwise require some emotional intelligence. It's not that analytical communicators don't care or are incapable of emotion. They're simply more focused on reaching a goal and prefer to keep interpersonal issues or communications separate. Focus on facts and data to support the point you're making. Be clear, concise, and logical in the language you use. Make sure you're prepared with facts to back up any proposal, argument, or idea that you bring to them. Cite sources or quote others when communicating in writing. Don't push for immediate decisions. Present your data and give them time to think through things rationally. When possible, present your ideas with arguments or options for possible outcomes. Be prepared to answer questions, and maybe even anticipate them, so you can come to the table with well-thought-out responses. If you want to build relationships with these folks, know they typically put work first. Intuitive communicators never get lost in the details. In fact, they prefer seeing the big picture so they can get right to the point. They make decisions quickly because they don't overanalyze the situation or get overwhelmed easily. Intuitive communicators are able to look at the overarching situation to understand challenges and opportunities and will quickly act on that. Their knack for big picture thinking means they're not afraid to challenge the status quo, and that often makes them great innovators. Because intuitive communicators lack the patience to dig into details, they run the risk of missing important points or skipping steps that could negatively impact their work. You'll have to check in on their progress and make sure you've got a process in place to check their final work product for errors. Share big picture situations and avoid nitty gritty discussions about process. Focus on the end product and only zoom in on critical details when you absolutely need to. Remember that getting in the weeds will only frustrate them. When discussing ideas, provide a variety to think on. Use existing visuals or sketch out ideas to make sure your points are sticking. The functional communicator loves being in command of details as they value specs, timelines, strategies, and plans. Their attention to detail means they work hard to make sure no stone goes unturned. They focus on process, communicate end goals, and prefer seeing things presented in a stepped out logical fashion. Functional communicators are great at breaking down situations to consider every aspect. Because they thrive on process and mind the details, that often earns them trust on teams. Team members often look to functional communicators to implement new strategies or play devil's advocate where necessary. You may have guessed it by now, but you'll often find functional communicators in project management roles. We all know that there's a lot more to communication than process. Functional communicators can get so caught up in the details, they run the risk of annoying or even losing the attention of their audience. Connect conversations and points to a process or a plan. Always provide clear context and structure with your communications, making sure any arguments, points, tasks, or to-dos are outlined in your discussion and have a distinct start and end date. Bullet points often work well. 
Be specific in pointing out how a certain action or inaction could impact current or future tasks affecting the overall project outcome. Personal communicators are the people on your team who easily make meaningful connections with others. They're natural communicators who embrace emotional language, listen well, and truly value building and maintaining personal relationships. Their ability to connect with others and form relationships often makes the personal communicator a strong team lead. They want things to go well, not only with communications, but also productivity, and can sense when things are getting off track. They're often able to gauge team morale and even smooth over conflict because of the value they place on maintaining healthy relationships. For that reason, personal communicators are often seen as the glue that holds teams together. While building strong connections at work is great, relationships can sometimes get in the way of work. This is where analytical communicators may call out or even lose patience with a personal communicator. That's why it's important for personal communicators to be aware of their surroundings, in command of facts, or at least take full responsibility for their tasks or roles. Use emotive language with details to help connect your point to their emotional way of thinking and communicating. Be authentically yourself to help establish a personal connection. Listen and show genuine interest in what they have to say. Talk through situations and outcomes, relaying points about how the outcomes will personally affect those involved. Understand that personal communicators take everyone's perspective into consideration, and that can take time. Be patient and open to various viewpoints, but know when to narrow your conversation down to guide it to outcomes. Try to get one-on-one -on -one time so you can deepen your connection and understand what motivates them beyond your relationship. Want even more tips and tools for improving project communication? Check out Class 8, Winning Trust with Communication in our free online video course, The Art and Science of Leading Projects. Master the ins and outs of project communication on your own time, at your own pace. Plus, download helpful resources like a communication plan template and principal guide to these four communication types. It's all on demand and totally free. And that's it for this video on communication styles. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, I'd love it if you could return the favor and hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.